Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Stacy D and the Yeti. We are coming to you today with something a little different from for our channel, but it's something that we love because mmm, I think we're cinephiles. Cinephiles. It sounds so dirty. You just sound right? really dirty. But we love movies. So since we first got married, we just watched movies over and over and over again. And so we thought that this would be amazing to actually take time to do a movie review, Stacey and the Yeti style. What are we talking about today? We are talking about The Aeronauts. The Aeronauts. Have you seen this? Me? Yes, I watched it. I watched it with you. <laughs> well, listen, it was absolutely visually stunning, right? Am I yes. right? Yes. So it was just an incredible movie. I mean, this is a, a, night, or a 2019 film. Directed by Tom Harper. Written by Jack Thorne. And then it's starring Eddie Redman, also known for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Him as Newt Scamander. <laughs> Newt Scamander. And then Felicity Jones. I've seen her around, but I think this is the first time I've actually seen her in action in a movie. But I know I've seen her a lot. So before we get too far into this, spoiler, spoiler, we're going to talk about the movie. Okay? Yes. So if you haven't seen it, don't watch any further. And if you have seen it, jump right in. So listen, no kidding, I really enjoyed this movie. So we have different tastes on certain things and I really thought that Eddie Redmayne was gonna be just new Scamander because that, that freaking guy, he's a bit quirky, am I wrong? Right, like that whole character is very quirky and it's very fitting for that movie, but I was a little concerned about watching him. Um, you, you thought he was gonna be like- Like looking through his hair long Looking, time. doing this, like his, his I, new commander. Did I pronounce his name wrong at the beginning of this? Yeah, it's Eddie Redmayne. Hey. I mean, there's some other movies that, of his that we have not seen, but in this particular film, it was good. It was solid. I mean, his character, had, it looked like his character had some good growth from the very beginning to the end of it. And we got to see kind of his arc, which was, I think it was pretty cool. So. You know, the story is that it's all about meteorology. So the idea was this is the first person to discover actual weather and how to predict the weather. So they're going up in a balloon so that he can monitor the atmosphere at different heights, right? So the higher they go, the colder it's getting. He's monitoring rain and storms and stuff. Right. And Felicity Jones's character, which is, uh, I can't remember what it was, Amelia, Amelia Wren. Wren, was his pilot. Now this is based off of a true story, right? Or it was... Or it's modeled after a true story. Yeah, or actual events. Actual or... events. So Amelia Wren, though, was the pilot for him in this. And they're they're going up, and she's taking him to new heights because no one believed in him. Didn't Wait, he? a pilot of what, though? A balloon. A hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Did we leave that out? Yeah, we left that out. All right, it's a hot <laughs> air balloon. So it was an amazing balloon that was going up there, and they had the basket with all the instruments in it. And they were going up there... And I mean, it was nuts. It was nuts. And it took you on the wild ride of them being on this hot air balloon and the surprising twist that happened as you get speaking up. Of, speaking of nuts, I could feel it. I tingled the whole time. You know, I've got a thing about heights, bro. So every time that the camera flipped around or she was doing something that looked like she was falling off the balloon or they gave a, a pan shot out from the balloon, I could feel it in my nethers, bro. I mean, I was like, oh, it was, it was scary. I mean, they were up something, they were shooting at like almost 37,000 feet. And so I thought that it was really just graphically, visually stunning. I like how they put the cameras in there, right? So instead of just it being like this or like this and like we go like this, it's like the balloon, like they had little cameras around them, like they shot it on like iPhone 11s, you know what I mean? But like yeah. sometimes it would shake like the cameras on the balloon and it almost puts you there even more. Right, you're, no, you're absolutely right. And then there's this part where he is not doing super great, the height of the, the air pressure, or the pressure? The, the air, like yeah. He was, yeah, didn't have enough oxygen. He didn't have enough oxygen, and so they did like the vignette on the screen, and they made it like it was closing, and like you're kind of like seeing it, and it, like you're feeling almost loopy while he's loopy. And I love that kind of filming. So you're like, like, of course, crap. immediately I get excited that I get excited to see it, so I'm not exactly in the movie experiencing it, but I love the creativity of it. Yeah, and because we've seen a lot of movies, it, it reminded me a lot of uh, Around the World in 80 Days. Yeah. And it was it was somebody who had something to prove to the Science Academy of England, 
And that's how this all started is this particular person, uh, Glacier, what was his first name? His first name was James. James Glacier had something to prove. He's like, I can do this and everyone laughed at him. So he actually had to go as far as getting someone to fund his journey up there and getting a woman pilot because nobody else would, would do it. So it was kind of bottom rung. Um, but the story itself, the adventure of how they met and her backstory and her husband and her previous experiences with being a pilot and a co-pilot, yeah. man, and how the story unfolded was absolutely beautiful and how it, it, it arced to that her husband actually didn't die two years ago, but he sacrificed himself. Oh my gosh. That was just like, I, I'm sweating a little bit thinking about it because it's so amazing. And, and I'm nervous about talking on camera. I'm giving spoilers. Like I someone's know. gonna be mad at me, right? But right. But her, her performance and dealing with all that grief and PTSD from it and all those things and then having to base her own decisions on how she was gonna safely navigate her and uh, the scientists through this crazy adventure while she still has that that adventurous soul inside of her and she wants to push things to the limit still but she's so scared and then how does she make all of this happen and right so as she's as incredible. her arc is going it starts with her being um super excited super adventurous but then it turns out that leading up to it she was actually scared and i think she was probably was she drinking and she just didn't want anything to do with the outside world and her husband had been dead for two years because of a hot air balloon accident where she was co-piloting with him. And it was so amazing. It got to this beautiful point where, you know, their balloon, the husband and wife's balloon was going down and they could not dump enough weight and it was falling too fast. And he just said, thank you for giving me a place to belong. And he just pitched himself off the balloon so that it slowed down enough to save his wife's life. Man, so then you understand once that hits, oh, it hits so freaking hard. But once that hits, you realize that you realize how beautiful of a story it was and that it wasn't that her husband died. It wasn't that they made mistakes. It wasn't that she's a bad pilot or any of that stuff. It was the climate circumstances and what was going on with her balloon was ripping and tearing and stuff. And it was about sacrifice and love. And then for her to go back up with, you know, what was the professor, doctor? Uh, a scientist. Well, James Glacier. But for have, to have him, her go back up with James Glacier was a huge step to go up and actually, it's like when you wreck a bike and you gotta get back on the bike again. So man, I, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it too. And then I also enjoyed all the, all the makeup that they had to use to make them look miserable and just a mess. And I was excited because they looked like real humans going up and having a real experience in inclement circumstances versus um, still trying to look, you know, attractive at all in inclement circumstances, that makes sense. And I was really excited that they just like push through. So dislikes about the story. Dislikes about the story. Um, it did feel like the, I was expecting them to be in the hot air balloon for a longer length of time. But their actual adventure itself wasn't that long. Within a day. Within a day. So I was expecting several days, weeks. I don't know. Maybe that's unrealistic. You know, like, I don't know how long you actually hot air balloon. Because you're thinking, like, hey, where's their food? How are they going to survive? Yeah. <laughs> my, honestly, my, my first thought was, like, how do they go to the bathroom? Like, what is that? What is that like? But then I realized it's a very short amount of time. When it comes to movies and just in general and the things that I like in movies is I, I like a little faster pace. So I thought the movie was a little slow for me and it was a bit of a slow starter. And it took me, I was watching this, sometimes I click my fingernails like I'm, and then she'll just reach over and like hold my hand and because I'm, I'm not getting sucked into it. So it took me a while. I bet we were good halfway in or a little more and then I was really into the story. So it was a bit of a slow story and a slow starter for me. But overall, I would say, listen, what's our own rating scale? I mean, I know we're giving thumbs, but like if you had to do five stars or 10 stars, what would you give it? Uh, are we doing a five star rating? or Let's, let's go rating? five star rating. Five star rating, I would give it, that's really hard. Uh, I guess I would give it a three and a half to four. Bro, I was thinking 3.75. That is nuts. So I think that's a solid 3.75, you know, but um, I don't know how, how much we want to 
still go on to this because the story is is very basic. You know I what think, I mean? I think we're good. I think that was a really good <laughs> so, idea. So. You know, it was two people, mostly two people in a balloon for most of it. And you get to see the side characters, but you don't see a lot of, there's no other character or character growth. It is really focused on the two people, their character and their character growth, and everybody else had a role in their life, but you right. don't know anybody else or where they're at or what they're about. Right. Would you recommend it to someone I would else? highly recommend this movie to everybody. And also... Um, Especially if you're afraid of heights. Right. Enjoy it. Knock yourself out. From uh, family friendliness is really important to us because we have kids and we're so mindful of the media that they consume. So this movie was really great. The only thing that I think made it PG-13 was probably the peril. But yeah. I don't, I don't think yeah. there was any language. There was definitely no nudity or or anything. Nope. It was a good story, man. It, it was, was a, a story. It was a solid. It, I would say it would be a family film, except it for the context, it was just slow. So um, and the peril. Well, yeah, and the peril. But you know, just in general, the the pace of the movie, most kids are probably going to get bored. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so. You have anything else to say? No, I think this was great. Well, if you guys are loving this movie reviews, you know, obviously this is our first one, but we are cinephiles. Ooh, I feel dirty when I said it again. But cinephile being someone who just absolutely loves movies, and that's really where we're at. We love all types of movies. We've seen them from black and white films to modern science fiction, sci-fi. We've seen, like, independent. everything, independent film, and we will watch films over and over again. If you guys have anything you'd like to hear our thoughts on, please leave a comment in the comment section below and we will absolutely talk about that movie. You'll get our take on it. But man, I think we have more coming. I think that this has been a fun setup. This is uh, this is great. So let's get those views up. Guys, make sure you hit subscribe. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. We'll talk to you later. Sure. Live hard, love hard. That works. Cat squat? Cat squat.